Hey guys, welcome to that video. Today I just want to share really quickly with you, in my opinion, three different stages you can be in regarding how you handle bad situations, bad emotions or things you call problems. So the first stage is normally the stage the average person is on when he feels bad about any situation he just feels like a victim and he says something oh my gosh my life is so hard or oh, this person is so bad this person annoys me blah 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 so so he just basically is a victim of his own emotions so the second stage is the stage where you are conscious about your feelings conscious about your problems and you are proactive and you proactive try to change the situation that, that is the stage where i was nearly often the time in it's a pretty good stage to be in i would say because you are responsible for your life and you take action and you try to change things so on that stage i normally would see my problems i would see my bad emotions and i would try to reframe them i would try to change my perception and ask myself questions like is it really like the way i see it what could be positive in the situation and then i use the letting go technique it's more like a meditation i just see i just look at my emotions and i just look at my thoughts and that helps me not to identify with those anymore because i'm i am not my emotions and i am not my thoughts so that helps me a lot to just accept them and just let them go and yeah that's the second stage and the third stage i just came across a few weeks ago which is like an upgrade of stage two i would say because here's how you go with that so if you're feeling bad about any kind of situation you first define the problem exactly the actual problem you have for example um, if your roommate doesn't want to clean the kitchen or the, the kitchen is freaking dirty so the problem is not that the kitchen is dirty the problem is that in my case the problem would be that my roommate is freaking lazy or the even more deeper problem is that my roommate now makes me aggressive i know he doesn't make me i make my own but in in the current moment it feels like that he makes me aggressive so that's my problem in that special situation in that moment so what do I, so now i identified the problem he makes me angry and now i just pretty easy i just add another sentence to the problem he makes me angry and i love it or i love that he makes me angry just say that out loud and just feel feel your feelings your emotions just feel what's going on after you said the sentence just look inside yourself and be aware often i just have to laugh about it because in the same moment i just can see the illusion i'm in and it helps me to not identify anymore and for example why, why i think stage three is so awesome because in stage two you kind of make out of illusion out of a illusion a real problem because to say oh i have to work on that oh i feel bad i have to work on that but now you are separating yourself from your emotions you, you have a resistance regarding your emotions or your thoughts oh that thought is bad i have to work on that or oh, that emotion is wrong i have to let go of that so you're creating a resistance and that makes it often even worse and in the third in the third stage you learn to accept it as it is you don't try to change it you just learn to love it and then it 
sh goes away immediately, normally. Yeah, it's more effortlessly, and you get more connected with yourself. You might, I mean, at the end of the day, all your problems, all your bad situations, it's, it's just a thought or just a emotion. Yeah. And they shift even all the day. You have new thoughts, new emotions. In the morning you might feel great, in the afternoon you might feel a bit shitty. So it never can be yourself. And ask yourself, who is the person who looks at, who observes the shifts of emotions, the shifts of thoughts? Who is the one, who, who is the I, who is the one who observes all those things that never can be the emotion itself it never the i can never be sad the i can never be happy the i just observes what happens so for me it makes total sense to not do any effort to change to your emotions to change your thoughts it's even better to just Accept it, you just learn to love it. So you can even ask yourself, can I love it that my roommate makes me angry? It doesn't matter if it if it's it's if it's a reality or something. If I believe in the moment or if it feels real in that specific moment, just say the sentence or ask yourself, can I can I fully love it and accept it that my roommate makes me angry? just try to feel in in the sentence just try to become one and fully love it yeah that helps me a lot to just change your state instantly i hope it helps leave a comment and subscribe and leave a thumbs up if you want to see more of those awesome stuff i just love to share those content and yes, man, stay focused, stay positive. We we'll see us in the next video.